friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about dusting your houseplants. It is a very important thing and to be honest I am not the best at it so I figured if I make a video about why it's important it'll instill everything into my brain and force me to do it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be talking about today. If you are new here and you don't know me already, my name is Emma and I make house plenty content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my house plenty journey and learn something along the way, stick around, watch some more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. Right, let's talk about dusting. Dusting your house plants not only benefits yourself, but it benefits your plants as well. Probably the most important reason you should dust your plant is to keep your plants healthier. Having a layer of dust on the like leaves of your plant, it kind of acts as a barrier blocking them from being able to receive light, which is necessary to photosynthesize and therefore create energy for themselves to grow. So it's kind of like you're putting a layer of sunscreen on your plant and it can't grow without the sun. So it's kind of like, you just don't want it there. You want to remove it if at all possible. And I know it can be a pain, but it is so beneficial for your houseplants to keep them nice and clean. Having dust on the leaves also inhibits their ability to clean the air in your home. I know if you only have one or two houseplants, it's not going to like act as an air purifier like having a physical air purifier machine would but they still do take carbon dioxide from the air and turn it into oxygen. And having a lot of dust on your leaves can slow that process down. And so it will be deterring the amount of clean air you could have in your home. So it benefits both you and the plant being able to breathe better if your plant's leaves don't have dust on them. Also, dusty plants can be a magnet for pests because they tend to go after plants that are a bit more neglected and having dusty leaves is somewhat of a sign of neglect of your plants. So like if the pests have a choice between a nice clean plant that doesn't have any dust on it and one that does have dust, it's likely going to pick one with dust. I don't know if they're like intelligent beings enough, but they are attracted to neglected plants and so it makes sense that that's where they would go. Also, like spider mite damage and like the webbing and stuff like that is a lot less visible when your plant is dusty. So when you have nice clean plants, it's a lot easier to tell if there are issues going on within your collection. Also taking the time to dust your leaves gives you time with the plants, allows you to take a deeper look at them than you would just like on your average day and it's more likely that you're going to catch some sort of pest infestation earlier if you're dusting regularly because you're having a deep look at their leaves on a consistent basis and you'll be better able to notice if something is going wrong. And of course, dusting helps your plants look nice and shiny and clean and new and fresh. They're going to look so much better with clean leaves than they do with a layer of dust all over them. It dulls their shine and makes them not as beautiful within your home. So that's just another benefit to dusting. <laughs> and if you use something like neem oil in your dusting routine, and your dusting kind of spray, it can help the leaves get an even brighter shine and help deter pests because neem oil messes with the chemicals in like pests brains and stops them from feeding and reproducing and stuff like that. So it's not an immediate plant pest like fixer, but if you are regularly using some sort of neem oil solution when you're dusting, it will like prevent pests in the long run, which is amazing. So there's a couple ways you can dust your plants. Probably the easiest and quickest way to do it would be to bring a bunch of plants into your bath or shower and shower them off with your shower hose. That will get a lot of the dust off their leaves and allow them to be clean once again. But do be careful if you're doing this that you don't do it right after your plants have been watered because you do risk overwatering by spraying your plants and likely your soil as well with a bunch of water. So just be sure to do it maybe on watering day in place of going around with your watering can or whatever. And then you can like leave them in the shower or bath and let them just drip dry for a while and drain out their soil and just kind of have a good, kind of like a spa day for a plant. 
If you don't want to move all of your plants into the bathtub, I know that would be quite difficult for me seeing as I've got like 200, so that would take me like at least 20 <laughs> trips back and forth, like filling the bathtub, at least. <laughs> So if you don't want to do that, you can dust your plants in place as well. You can do so with a cloth, ideally a microfiber one, because they are going to be the gentlest on your plant's leaves and make them nice and clean. And they collect dust really well as well. You can do this damp or dry. If I'm feeling like really lazy and I only have a tiny bit of time, I'll just dry wipe my plant's leaves and that's fine. Dusting with a damp cloth is slightly more effective as it will trap the dust as well, not just kind of like blow it into the air. Dry dusting is fine, but damp dusting is definitely better and I think more beneficial. You can also go in with a sort of neem oil solution, which is what I've been doing recently, and taking that and spraying it on your microfiber cloth and wiping with that. So that acts as one, removing the dust and also putting on a layer of neem oil, like a very, very, very thin layer of neem oil, which is going to one, make your leaf shiny, like I said earlier, and two, deter pests by like messing with their brains. So that's a really, really beneficial way to go about dusting and it's probably the best way to keep your plants the healthiest because it is doing all of those things all at once. It is important, however, to avoid things like leaf shine. Companies will sell them to you because they, you want your plant's leaves to be nice and shiny. Those are typically not good for your plants and they can clog your plant's pores. And this includes ones that you can buy as a store-bought thing, as well as things like using a banana peel or something. I've heard of that, but I do not suggest it because, like I said, it will clog your plant's stomata or their pores and can inhibit them like breathing normally. They also increase the risk of sunburn in your plants. If you're dusting your plants with some sort of oil and getting oil on the leaves and they go into direct sun or bright light, like grow light even, it can burn the leaves because it is like magnifying the sort of heat and essentially cooking your plant, which is to be avoided if we can possibly avoid it. So avoid leaf shine products if at all possible. If you are using a neem oil solution, which I will put the recipe for my neem oil solution right here, it is really really simple. I like to get the concentrated neem oil and make up my own solution. You can buy just general neem oil solution pre-mixed, but I think it's a better value monetarily. If you make it up yourself, which it's fine, do what you like, but I like doing it this way. If you are using neem oil, you only want to put it on your plant's leaves maybe every four to seven days. If you put it on too often or if you're using too thick of a solution, like too concentrated with neem oil, it can also clog your plant's stomata or their pores and cause issues. But once you've put the neem oil on your leaves, if, especially if it's a very thin layer, it'll start to like break down into the plant over the next few hours up to like three days. And then after that, you can again start using the neem oil again, but you do want to make sure you're giving it that gap between to fully break down so you're not harming the plant. It's also important to keep your plants out of the sun and grow light for a few hours after you are putting the neem oil on your plant like I said about leaf shine, they can increase the risk of sunburn. So you can either do it in the evening when your plants aren't gonna be getting light or do it in a darker room or pull them away from windows where they're not going to be getting that really bright sunlight or grow light that could help burn their leaves. Also, it's important to note that I don't do this with any of my velvet leafed plants. Wiping them down with a cloth or either dry or damp isn't going to be as good for them as it is with the sort of like leathery, waxy sort of plant leaves where it's really easy to clean and wipe down. Also, spraying velvet leaves with water and letting water sit on their leaves can increase risk of fungal issues because the sort of very tiny like texture of the velvety leaves holds onto the water a bit more than like sort of waxy or leathery leaves do and so it's at higher risk for fungal issues. So instead of using a cloth and dry or damp wiping, I like to use a makeup brush. I make sure to use a clean makeup brush, a nice big fluffy one, a big, big blush brush and use that to wipe down my plant's leaves and make sure that they are nice and clean. So that is it. That is why you should be dusting your plant's leaves. 
go dust your plant sleeves right now. I'm sure you probably haven't done it any time recently. I'm gonna go do that right after this video. I've just been doing it for the past week, just going around and dusting every little section of my house. It's really, really important to do it, and so go dust your plants. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other houseplanty things you'd like me to talk about in the future and subscribe for more. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Go dust your plants!